Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. Here it is an interesting problem to understand and revise concepts involving working of RC circuit, KCL, KVL, and electrical instruments. So let us check and solve the problem. In this problem, they have given in this circuit shown below. The key is pressed at t is equal to 0. Which of the following statement or statements is or true? Is a question. Today, students, we have to check every single option in this and see whether it is correct or not. So, let's begin with the first option. The voltmeter displays minus 5 volt as soon as the key is pressed and displays positive 5 volt after a long time. We have to check whether this is correct or not. Then, voltmeter will display 0 volt at time t equals ln 2 seconds the current in the ammeter becomes 1 by e of the initial value after 1 second then the current in the ammeter becomes 0 after long time so there are a bunch of options we have to check let's go one by one so as of now see here they have given the numbers right so we will make it as few symbols so it becomes easy for us so the voltage source let me name it as v0 v0 is the voltage source and the capacitor here 20 microfarad let me call that one as C. C is the capacitance of it. 20 microfarad is C. Then I'll call 25 kilo ohms as R. And 50 kilo ohms, if 25 kilo ohms is R, 50 kilo ohms, I'll be writing it as 2 times of R. And 40 microfarad, if 20 microfarad is C and 40 microfarad, let me call it as 2C. Okay. So here we do have an ammeter here and voltmeter here. So as of now, my consideration here is going to be like this. So this so-called voltmeter is ideal and even ammeter is ideal. When we say ideal, it means that voltmeters like resistance, right? We can say the resistance of the so-called voltmeter is considered to be very, very high. Got it? So very high meaning what? With respect to the resistors involved in the circuit, we are going to treat it as very high. So here it is like 50 kilo ohms and 25 kilo ohms we already have in the circuit. So you can imagine the resistance of the so-called voltmeter to be around few mega ohms like that. So meaning we are relatively treating that one to be really really high. Only then we can operate that particular instrument in the circuit. Then here ideal ammeter meaning it will offer almost zero resistance almost zero resistance we don't have to worry about the resistance offered by the ammeter so these are initial ideas or setup now we'll proceed further with our consideration at t is equal to zero we are going to switch on this particular circuit so at t is equal to zero i'm going to switch it on as i switch it on what and all will happen so they have asked us to check few ideas so we'll go one by one see here voltmeter displays minus 5 volts as soon as the key is pressed as soon as the key is pressed we know that the so-called flow of current happens and if i is the flow of current in this particular circuit this so-called current has to like pass through this branch and this branch suppose if current is flowing in this way so capacitor will not offer any resistance because it is as of now it is uncharged so it won't offer the entire current will flow like this then here the current has to split here and here in this way but since we are treating this particular voltmeter as ideal voltmeter so the current won't flow through this and most of the current or say the current will flow entirely through this resistor in this way and it will join here so meaning if i name this one as i1 current and i2 current so I1 will flow like this and I2 will flow in this manner. So I'm just marking it so that it becomes easy for us. So dear students, since here initially the capacitors won't offer any resistance, it is as good as treating this particular circuit as follows. I'm going to show that in the next slide. See here we have like battery source, which is 5 volts supply. V0 5 volt supply and we I am equivalently drawing the circuit. We have one resistor, one more 
one more resistor here so we do have this kind of equivalent circuit see observe here we have 2R here and R and this is so called voltmeter so this is voltmeter since capacitor is not offering any resistance I'm going to take it out of the circuit because it is not offering any resistance so there is opposition so there is no voltage drop across it so the, the circuit appears as if it is like parallel combination with negative sign here for the voltmeter positive sign here okay so now as you can easily observe that suppose if we had connected voltmeter like this like positive of voltmeter to the positive side and negative in this way so we know that this side this point will be at plus 5 volts when compared to this point if i take this one at 0 volt and this would be at 5 volt because the voltage difference is 5 volt so meaning this will be at plus 5 volt this would be at 0 and i hope you can easily recognize all these points so this will be at 5 volts and this is at 0 volt so potential difference suppose if i have connected like this like yellow color one plus minus then voltmeter would have like giving the reading as plus 5 volts since i am connecting in a reverse order the voltmeter will give minus 5 volt as the reading like initial reading so with this idea we can say that the voltmeter displays minus 5 volt as soon as the key is pressed that would be right answer correct here it displays positive 5 volts after a long time so meaning after long time what will happen that we will check but as of now we will also plan like this since this is a condition for at t is equal to zero right so we'll think like what is the initial current in the system initial current in the system would be like since the voltmeter will be offering very high resistance whatever the current is flowing like this i amount of current it will split like this say i1 is flowing through r i1 is flowing through r i1 is flowing through r and i Two is flowing through 2R as from our notation correct so initial current would be like V0 by R which is I1 initial current would be V0 by R let me write I0 equals I1 plus I2 so V0 by R plus V0 by 2 times of R so initial current is going to be 3 times of V0 by 2 times of R so we will keep it as it is like call it as equation one and it might be useful as we go by okay after long time we know that the capacitor is getting completely charged if capacitor gets completely charged then we can say that there will be a charge development on this particular capacitor like this so there will be some charge development on the capacitor like this and here there will be a charge and this one let me name it as some q1 charge and this is q2 charge with respect to time this q1 keeps changing q2 keeps changing after sufficiently long time you know that q1 as well as q2 they will be completely charged there won't be further charging if there is no further charging then this behaves like an open circuit and even this q2 20 microfarad capacitor location right that becomes open circuit so how does the so called new circuit looks like suppose if you observe there this capacitor location i am taking it outside the system there is one resistor here and another resistor here and our so called circuit this is our voltage source v0 plus minus this is 5 volt supply and the resistance here we know we are naming it as 2r here and r here so this capacitor right this one and the other one these capacitors they have already completely charged since they have charged there won't be any flow of current through that so we can say that they uh, it is as good as we have removed it if we have removed it then what happens the entire current see there won't be any flow of current but if you think like there will be very very small current flowing in this way let's see that if there is a small current like this then we can name this point as let me call this point as a and this point as b and this point as p 
and this point as Q. This point is A and this point is B. I'll be using KVL to move from A, sorry, B all the way to A through this particular arrowed direction. So here we have plus to minus from potential at B plus to minus I is the current flowing through it. I'll be writing the entire current I, let's say small i I'm using. Small i is flowing like this. So if I amount of current is flowing, so plus to minus I times of R here, I'm passing through this. Then again, there is no circuit elements, minus to plus, plus V naught is the voltage, which is five volts. We know that this is five volts, V naught. Then we can move through this plus to minus, minus of two I times of R equals potential at A. So we need potential at A minus potential at B, which is equal to V naught minus of three times of IR. So V naught is five according to our given data, minus of three times of IR, potential at A minus potential at B. Yes, students here, we know that after long time, if you observe consequence, if since this is high, we can say that the current is approximately zero, meaning we can say that there is no flow of current through this particular system. If that is the case, VA minus VB is going to be five volts. So with this being our conclusion, we can say A is at higher potential when compared to B by a voltage difference of five volts. So meaning now if you look at the voltmeter setup, so this positive terminal of the voltmeter is connected to higher potential, negative to the lower potential, right? So it will displace positive five volts after long time. So which means the first option is completely correct. Now let us think of writing charge on the first capacitor as a function of time. So we know that the maximum charge that Q1 can possess is 2C times of V0 into 1 minus E power minus T by tau, where tau is the time constant. And similarly for Q2 as a function of time is C times of V0 into 1 minus of E power minus T by tau here, tau in the first branch, right? In this branch, from here in this branch, if you think of like time constant in that first branch, tau is equal to r times of 2c, which is 2rc. And in the second branch, the so-called time constant is going to be 2r times of c, which is 2rc. So using the values given in the problem, if you can work with this r value, r is 25 kilo ohms, 10 power 3 and C is 20 microfarad, 20 microfarad. If you simplify this, it is going to be one second. So you can observe this one. Now is it going to be one second? Update our values if you want. But before that, we'll even complete like the current values here. So I1 is dq1 by dt. So it is 2CV0 into differentiation of that e power minus t by tau minus into minus 1 by tau. So it is going to be 2CV0 by tau. So here the value of just a minute. This is e power minus t by tau. So we can write this one as 2CV0 by tau value is 2RC into e power minus t by tau. So we can write I1 is going to be, so we can cancel 2 and C, 2 and C, V0 by R into E power minus T by tau. This is what we have for I1. Similarly for I2, we have DQ2 by DT, DT, DQ2 by DT equals C V0 into minus E power minus T by tau. To minus 1 by tau. So if we simplify C in place of time constant, I'll be writing 2RC in e power minus T by tau. We'll get V0 by 2R into e power minus T by tau. So I2 is going to be V0 by 2R times e power minus T by tau. This is what we have. Now using these expressions, so we got Q1 and Q2 expression, and I1 and I2. So let's, let us 
try and solve the second one second option the voltmeter will display zero volt at time t is equal to land two they are giving so when t is equal to land two i'm going to observe what will happen to the i1 value i1 value and what will happen to this q2 value so based on that i will predict the potential at b and potential at a and c whether it will give me same or different value if a and b carry same voltage right then potential difference will be zero then i can expect the voltmeter displaying zero voltage will be correct so let's try to know like how much current will be flowing here i1 at t is equal to land 2 t is equal to land 2 i1 becomes i1 equals v naught by r e power minus c t is land 2 and tau is 1 second correct we can write v naught by r e power lan 2 power minus 1 so we can say it is v naught by 2r so i hope you all know this suppose if you have e power lan x we can write it as x and similarly q1 if we sorry q2 we need right q2 if we want q2 is equal to cv naught into 1 minus e power minus t by lan t by tau right t is lan 2 by tau is 1 so using the same logic c v naught into 1 minus e power e power lan 2 power minus 1 i'll be directly writing 1 by 2 so we can write it as c v naught by 2 this is q2 now our circuit was like this so there is one resistor here and a capacitor here this point this is old meter location minus plus this is at potential a this is at potential b and this point is potential at p this is r resistance this one is uh, c let me check once this is r and c now as current is flowing in this way i1 current so we know that potential at b minus potential at p is equal to i1 times of r i1 is v naught by 2r into r it gives us v naught by 2 potential at b is greater than potential at p by this value Sim we can write potential at b is equal to v naught by 2 plus potential at p similarly we know that it is charging here so this side it is q2 and potential at a minus potential at b is equal to charge on the capacitor which is q2 by c so q2 we know it is c v naught by 2 divided by c c c we think cancel out v naught by 2 so potential at a equals v naught by 2 plus potential at p so observing this equation and this one we can say potential at b is exactly equal to potential at a so va will be equal to vb if va is equal to vb the voltage drop will be zero so reading as zero volt because the potential difference is zero so with that we can say even second option right that is going to be correct now let's think of the third option the current in the ammeter becomes 1 by e of the initial value after one second so we can say the current i1 expression we have got here already i1 and i2 value i1 is equal to v naught by r suppose if i put t is equal already tau is 1 t is equal to 1 if i put here then it becomes i1 equals v naught by r times of e power minus 1 similarly i2 would be v naught by 2 or e power minus 1 i1 would be v naught by r e power minus 1 i2 would be v naught by 2 times of r e power minus 1 i'm just substituting in this equations so we'll get i is going to be i1 plus i2 so using that we can write v naught by r times of e plus v naught by 2 r times of e so simplifying 3 v naught by 2r e is what we have here so we can even write i by i naught initial current would be 1 by e because we already know that i naught is 3 v naught by 2 times of r this we have already observed in our expression equation 1 correct so with that we can say that option c will also be correct then current in the ammeter becomes zero after long time and obviously this would be correct because here as you observe as t becomes like 
very long time i1 becomes 0 and even i2 becomes 0 i is the summation of i1 and i2 so it will turn out to be 0 and all these things are correct provided voltmeter resistance is very very high so with that even option d is correct if you have any sort of doubts please feel free to comment that in the comment section so i will reply thank you